I've been traveling New Zealand now for about a month and this place is spectacular. The scenery, you can tell, is epic. Everywhere you go, it's just beautiful. And the people here are wonderful. They're so kind, loving, and just real friendly people who you just want to get to know. They're real heroes and they really go out of their way to help you out wherever they can. While traveling around New Zealand, it has given me a lot of lessons that I've learned, a lot of things that have made me stop and reflect and realize. So I wanted to make this video just to share that with you. I've made a talking headpiece video like this in a while, but I really wanted to do this because I feel really passionately about this and it's really made me stop and reflect. So let me share with you this essence that I've found and hopefully you can take some reflections on it as well. With this country being so beautiful, everywhere I go, I want to stop and take a photo. It just is beautiful everywhere, and it's so diverse, and it changes everywhere you go, from snow-covered mountains to beautiful beaches and lakes. There's photo opportunities everywhere. However, I've tried to refrain myself from doing that and just look and embrace and be in the moment rather than taking a photo everywhere I go. Go. Yes, I want to do it, and yes, I still will take photos, but not as many because sometimes the best photo is the one that lasts forever in your head. Another really big part of this trip is slowing down. I've spent a lot of time writing by hand, reading, spending time away from the computer and the hustle and bustle at work. Just try and slow down, be present, be in the moment take things how they should be rather than trying to rush around do everything all at once you know we have each day to enjoy and i tend to enjoy and i want to enjoy it to the max and that doesn't mean rushing around wishing the time away it means slowing down and enjoying yourself Going back to the point earlier I made about the photos, not everything has to be content. Other trips I've gone on, I've tried to make a video everywhere I go. However, this one, I've stopped and not done that. Not everything has to be content. You don't have to make content everywhere you go on everything you see. You need to stop and enjoy it and have that moment and be in the present. And sometimes you can't do that when you're making content, when you're making videos all the time about everything. You need to stop and just enjoy the moment. This goes on to the computer as well. I really refrain from going onto the computer as much as I can. One, I live in a van, so at the moment I can't charge it as often. I can only use it for a limited amount of time, and that's great. I go on there with a purpose instead of either scrolling, getting distracted by YouTube and all these other things that the internet and technology is trying to distract you with. I'm being outside more, taking in the sun, being connected to nature is much more enjoyable, and I find that that will reflect on the work you do. So when you go onto the computer, you realize what you need to do and how you want to achieve it, and you don't mess around with anything else. You just go on there with one goal and one objective and you complete it one task at a time. I find that when I do have a creative urge, I write it down and I can create it. My mind is much more open and expansive in that moment rather than trying to work, 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 work and be creative all the time. I find a lot of creativity comes from your life, what you do, how you live it, what you see interacting with people and you get inspiration from this and you can't get inspiration if you're just either consuming a lot of content on your phone, on your computer, or if you're working on there a lot, it seems to nullify your creativity. You need to go outside, connect with nature, and meet people, and meet people who inspire you, talk to people, find stories, listen to stories. This is what I think being creative is, is the stuff you do outside of the work as well, reflects the work you do. Overall, there's no time like the present. You have to enjoy these moments. I may never come back to New Zealand, so I'm trying to take it in and enjoy it well on the road, seeing all these beautiful places. I know it's not forever, so that's why I'm trying to make a lasting memories with my girlfriend, with the stuff I do, with the people I meet, because I know those memories are gonna serve me much better in the long run than trying to make content out of everything I do and not enjoying that moment to its maximum potential. 